Bronco Nation, we're all thinking the same thing. Boise State opens their football season against Michigan State in a week from Friday, and there's still no starting quarterback. I'm not buying it either, but seven turnovers and some lackluster quarterback play in the final fall scrimmage leaves head coach Chris Peterson a little gun shy. You know, we had some good plays, and then we had some really, you know, plays we'd love to have back. Um, and again, you, you got to go put the tape on to see if the defense is really making that happen or they're just plays that, hey, you know, we, we need to stay away from those. We need to stay away from any way we can. But, you know, it's that love-hate thing when you're playing against your own team. It's, you love that they made a play there, and it's hard on the other side. Ah, the bittersweet world of college football. But take solace. Whatever you've been doing, coach, is confusing the Spartans. Unlike the tight-lipped Broncos, the Michigan State Spartans are already talking about next week's opener and preparing for Boise State. And Coach Pete's offensive ambiguity just might be working on Spartans head coach Mark D'Antonio, or at least that's what he's telling us. I think on record we have 178 different type formations that they've run in our breakdown. So, you know, a lot of different personnel groupings. You don't really know who the quarterback is going to be at this point, but they have four of them that they're working. So obviously um, the guy who comes out of that is going to be pretty good. Hard to believe Michigan State hasn't noticed Joe Southwick has worked exclusively with the number ones as of late, but well, MSU, who knows? They might be playing possum.